What's up everybody, this is a 2010 Chevy Equinox with a 2.4 Ecotec, which is in tons of Chevy cars and SUVs. Uh, what happened to this, the timing chain tension or uh, timing chain guide went in the front and the guide bolt uh, was rubbing on the chain which made the bolt loosen up and it ruined the threads holding that, that guide on. Well, I was almost ready to take the head off until I found that Dorman makes a repairer plug which is right here i should, wish i would have took a video of this before i put it in but the part number is 917-954 basically what it does is the bolt that goes in here to hold that uh, guide on you get rid of that bolt and this plug has the actual uh it's longer so that this is actually what holds the guide in now not the bolt because the bolt's useless now um i didn't even know a lot of guys that uh, you know i even know at the dealer didn't even know they made this part doorman just does the shitty job with their uh marketing but yeah it's, it'll save you from having to take the cylinder head off um you can just you can order one on ebay or whatever and uh, just look it up on google so you can understand kind of what i'm talking about it's kind of hard to explain it with that already in there i should have done it before i put it together uh, anyways, if, uh, a couple tips to putting the chain back on. If you have everything off, you know, the chain's out, the sprockets are all off, the guides are out. First thing I do is I put the chain on from the top going down. Um, you could do it the other way. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I fish that down in there, get it around the crank. Then the next thing I do is I put this rear guide in, obviously with the tensioner out. Then I'll put this first sprocket on get the chain around around it and then around the crank then after that I put that sprocket on and uh, make sure all the timing marks are correct and I'll, you know crank and the cams after that you put the uh, I put this guide on on this side tighten the you know this is the new guide bolt obviously and uh, get all that stuff in put this guide on and then once you have all the guides on, um, all the bolts are tight for the sprockets and everything, and then you make sure all the chain slack is on this side, then you put the tensioner in. After you put the tensioner in, I take a screwdriver and I press down on this chain to preload the, uh, the new tensioner. You have to do that because it's, it's like locked. So once you press it down, you'll hear a click and then you're good. But you got to make sure you do that so the tensioner works right. But yeah, that's uh, the the new plug bolt slash bolt is uh, a huge saver. You don't have to take the head off or anything. Uh, I was actually almost ready to take the head off, but uh, luckily found out that they make that repair bolt, and it's only like fifteen dollars or something. It's a huge, <laughs> huge headache uh, saver. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, just, uh, let me message. Thanks.